Okay, let's go ahead and get rolling. First of all, is a horizontal chest press. Now, the key thing here is to stabilize with the extended arm out. You'll see me switch feet and go into more of a parallel stance, which is going to activate my trunk more. But again, the key is that the, the holding part, or when you're not pressing, the arm is fully extended, which automatically increases the need for greater stabilization. You're welcome to stagger your feet or parallel your feet, uh, whichever way you want. Okay, from there we're going to go ahead now and we're going to get into a squat, stationary squat pull. So I'm going to put myself into a squat and I'm going to go ahead and stabilize there and do an alternating pull. Again, what you're going to notice is I'm holding the pull position while I'm going ahead and doing the opposite arm rowing. That's again going to create a greater need for stabilization. It's also going to work the mid-back muscles more to help them stabilize and work on better uh, postural control and stability as well. Meanwhile, my hips being planted into a stationary squat are uh, activated and stabilizing, which feeds up into my scapula to keep that more stable as well. From there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to push into a overhead or what we call a bent over press. Now again, we're going to keep the ex arm extended while we allow the other arm to go through the pressing movement. This is going to create a tremendous amount of scapular stabilization control on the arm that's stabilizing. It's a very difficult exercise. You need to keep your hips or feet in a staggered stance position for them. It's very difficult to do in a parallel stance. You're welcome to switch your feet during the workout. Uh, but key thing here is to make sure that your arm is always kept in a stabilizing position while the off arm is going through a dynamic movement. This is much different than a typical alternating exercise. The fourth exercise now is going to be a parallel stance uh, bicep curl or a horizontal curl. Again, we can put our feet parallel or we can put them in a staggered position. I'm going to hold the curl position while I allow the other arm to go through the curling movement. Again, making sure that I have to keep that stabilizing or muscle contracted for a little bit longer than normal. As a result uh, of doing it in this fashion, you're going to create a much greater workload. You're also going to work a lot more on uh, stabilization and uh, isometric strengthening of that muscle group while the other movement is going through the uh, dynamic portion of the activity. I would totally expect that your workloads will sh shoot up and you'll see a significant difference doing it this way than allowing the uh, non-active arm to be exercising or stabilizing. The last exercise is a, a real crusher. We're going to go ahead and do overhead tricep presses. What this is going to allow us to do now is really activate our trunk and we're going to do one press at a time, always keeping the arm pressed out and holding while the other arm is going through the dynamic movement. You notice that I always have one extremity that is working on stabilization control while the other arm is going through a dynamic movement. That's the difference in this type of alternating exercise program as compared to uh, what I've been taught in the past where the arm is left in a relaxed position while the other one is going through the dynamic movement.